Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Panzer Core 2. I think this is the final mission in Britain itself, Portsmouth. I have news, Air General. Good news, good as can be in these circumstances. I've been in contact with High Command, and the rescue operation is proceeding on schedule. But you still have your part to play. Your forces must break through to Portsmouth. Control three Portsmouth victory axes at the end of the scenario. Bonus objective, raid Southampton. And sink the Royal Navy Squadron. Our ruse has worked thus far and continues to work for us. The road to Portsmouth is almost completely unguarded, except only the lightest resistance on your approach to the port. Now that said, we'll still need to fight hard to secure full control of the port. Additionally, the British might finally be on to our plan. They're mobilizing forces to intercept us from the west and the southeast. You can try to engage these forces head on, but it will cost us precious time. Better to secure Portsmouth first and then turn around to fight off these attackers as they approach us from behind. We'll still have to deal with what's left of the verdammt British naval squadron, so I recommend deploying at least a few strategic bombers to take them on. With the service ships of the Kriegsmarine devastated, but not really, we cannot rely on warship support. Despite this, Grand Admiral Raider has sent us several of his best U-boats to assist in the operation. After you've used them to avenge our valiant Kriegsmarine, they still will be of further use to you. Ordering them to surface will help you encircle Portsmouth by blocking its port-based supply lanes. Our salvation is within reach. All you need to do is take one last grasp for it. Good luck. Okay. Herr General, as we prepare to evacuate, a final opportunity to seize British equipment has presented itself. At this point, our salvage crews will just be grabbing anything that's not bolted down, so the proceeds will likely be a mixture of British vehicles and aircraft. If you want to use some more of your influence to our final cache of equipment, now's the time. You have 14, would you like to use 9 to acquire assorted British equipment salvage? Sure. Field repairs. Restores one point of strength every turn the unit did not attack. Okay. Uh, fine. Fine. So, which British assorted units did I get? It's hard to see because, yeah, you know, there's so much junk in your captured pool at this point. Like maybe some vickers there. Um. Probably not. Maybe some Matildas. Maybe some Matilda twos. Mm. Cer certainly no anti tanks. How about a? Now, there's going to be an assortment. <laughs> I have two of these Vickers AA. Um, no. I only have three more roof ramen. Gloucester Meteor 3, huh? So that was what was what was in the aerodrome. So later on, I guess this thing has seven slots. It will get 20, 22. Yeah, that's decent. I suppose. Not sure if I got some of these, some bow fighters. I think I did. All right, well, either way, um, yeah, let's start deploying. All right, so first of all, let's uh, go back. Don't need to go to chat. 
don't need to go to buy. It's new as a Panzer 4E. Well, I don't have any Panzer Force with me at the moment. Uh, so that's not a worry about it. Um, what I do need to worry about is the enemy navy, so I, I do need to remove some stuff. And I guess the first thing that I'm going to get rid of in this mission, we know that they can attack from Winchester and then from down here as well. So those two areas. And then I need to hold Portsmouth at the end of the scenario. So this mission is only 16 turns. Um. I'll get rid of this as well. Oh, I only have 80 core slots to deploy. Huh. Let's get rid of the 88. I think it's too costly for what it's worth. Get rid of one of the torches. So there we are. All right. Um, I guess that means that I can still over strength one or two, or at least this unit, I guess. And that will have to do for now. This way I can also split up, so that's uh, probably a good idea. There we go. I should not put all my infantry in one basket because they might, for example, have something there. Same for here. The chance that these are empty is very high, but you never know. Now, with very high, I mean almost 100%. But uh, we'll see. That's it. I do have an AA here. Uh, so let's also put one up in the north. I have this field to repair, which. I really don't care that much for. I mean, what turns am I not going to attack? But... Sure, whatever. See? Uh, 
There we go. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I don't necessarily need to see what's here, but uh, the Vickers, definitely. Let's see if this kills it. Yes, it does. Great. Okay. And we also immediately spot an enemy fighter, so we'll get to kill that off. Could have used just this one, I guess, since it has double attack. Oh well. Um, since there are supposedly very little enemy units, I'm gonna try to advance as much as possible here. Might seem a bit weird attacking with these, but they also need experience, or they don't. Huh. Surely I will at least take a... They might go back here or here. It remains to be seen. Um, one thing I will do is forced march in here. And yeah, there seems to be a unit there. So Let's kill that so I can quickly take that hex on the next turn. It's still a bit dangerous there, but... Probably not too bad. Maybe silly, but I'm already gonna relocate them if they're gonna attack it. Fine. There is these. Sure. Hmm. I didn't uh, do that well on the counter. Tracks first. And this is Sh what Chevy WB. It's an infantry though, and I'm quite sure that normally a Chevy is is a truck, but this unit doesn't even have a truck. <laughs> it's just dumb. All right, fine, whatever. Oh, that's not right next to it. Ugh. Talking about stupid. Uh, game? Thanks. Okay. Kill them, move further, kill them. To <clears throat> oh, 
plus three to soft attack. That might be the, the maximum. Not sure whether this is the last infantry. Need to get a recon out there. On the next turn to, to see. Anyway, I definitely put too much too much emphasis on this attack uh, compared to this. So that that's a, a bit of a problem. Hmm. The, uh, yeah, I'll shift these guys uh, over to that side, probably for the better at that point. they have even more of a wave coming from there hmm all right time to move into that direction then if they have even more infantry these guys could be in trouble Attack double. Okay. Stuff is rather weird though, but I mean, they will very likely have AA there. But we'll see. How many infantry do they have? Jeez. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that's too far. Uh, it's fine. Somehow I have the feeling that my approach to this mission should have been different. Uh. But <laughs> that's just the sensation that I get. Uh, that is unfortunate. Why are you taking three damage? Support fire might give me a damage, but most of it. Shame I couldn't kill those two, but... Let's just go and take a look. is nice but uh Just do that. This is pretty solid. This is the last of it, that would be pretty good, I suppose, there. And it is, okay. That gives me some perspective.
and also means that I can one two Yeah, completely forgot about these submarines. That was dumb. Should surrender next. I can only defeat uh, one Matilda at a time, so, or at least the Matilda two. So. go um, yeah they cannot see that anyway so I might just well move forward same there not sure what they're trying to do here but I'm happy they try it, I suppose. Hmm, they had more. Might be another wave. How many Matildas do they want to send? They don't even have any more ammo. So I have to be careful of the cruiser, I suppose, there. Um, however, let's kill that. I know what those guys might want to do still, but... I... 
kind of need an exit plan. These guys do absolutely nothing, I suppose, really. They still do the damage, huh? So I can still move, I need to see whether they deployed a new wave, they did not. Three movement left. Because these can go in there and kill one of them. Um, I'll uh, I'll have to go and see what they're gonna attack. I mean. Needs to get rid of them. And then they only have one Matilda left. That's also not really any worry. Actually, go and take that because now I can transfer all my bombers at least to go and deal with the enemy navy. I can take that, I don't really care. They're getting aggressive onto these. That's okay.
Okay, let's uh, deal with those guys now. One, two, three, four. All oh, right, they only have vision of two now. Okay, well. Let's go in here. There seems to be nothing there. So I'll move uh, further to that location. I also need to uh, take Southampton, so. I guess uh, that it. rather makes sense. This is Pioneer, so they, they actually, well, they should be able to get in there, maybe, hard to say. Do I have anything else there? Oh, you. Well, let's relocate. I actually need some uh, decent weather. The thing I need is good weather, but uh, let's uh, let's keep going. Okay, next turn, huh? Yeah, of course. Well, these two will have to go somewhere else then. Kill them, kill them.
side, the, the weather is still bad. But moving in here, they of course have only one vision. <laughs> Start on trenching. That's their problem. Doesn't require supply. Okay. It's not really that big of an issue. Um. I'm gonna move them back a little bit. I'm not too happy with what's going on there. Okay, so they have to relocate. But they're still alive. Crazy also that they can repair. That's dead. That's dead. I can't kill all of them, but I can kill quite a substantial portion of them. It's pretty neat. Well, <laughs> uh, to very least, they'll have to relocate. There we go. It's uh, okay, okay. Let's take Portsmouth. Kill those. I'll just keep repairing them. I don't really see any reason not to. And then I'll start moving up. So, since I've, I've taken almost entirety of Portsmouth, there's no real problem uh, there. Yeah, they've taken that, but that's according to the mission, I suppose. So. And we 
This is, if we have three out of seven, so there's four, five, there's a sixth. I don't know where the seventh is. We'll have to figure it out. There we are. So that's scoring pretty well. Let's take that. And move towards the city. These guys will then have to also relocate again. Well, we're moving towards Southampton. With a bunch of units. Like this just cost me some prestige, but it's not a particularly big problem. And they only have two tanks out there that are a slight cause for concern to find that ship There it is. Okay, so we got all the parts of uh, Portsmouth. Can I? Yep. Yeah. And any units that are in disuse at the moment can just repair them for the time being. We'll see how this uh, unfolds. The fact that this King George class is trying to get away is not the most ideal, but we'll be fine. Uh,
Yeah, I, I do have enough turn stat to deal with it, okay. Let's see, I'd rather attack them with a weaker unit. Because now... That should still eliminate them. And also means I don't need these tanks here anymore. I'll send them back the other side. Infantry will take over. I guess together with the artillery, but... Uh, you two oh whatever So you're dead. points take that for another point kill both of these Just act as if we're evacuating. Although... In reality, I don't... Haha. Uh -huh. I don't see that much more danger. Sure, I can retake that on the next turn. Let's just go up here to take Singleton again. I wonder if I can get prestige from taking any of those back, but I don't have the movement. To do that. As far as I'm aware of. Yeah. Oh well. Talking about easy missions. Serial Night Phoenix, our great adventure across the English Channel has come to an end. Despite every circumstance stacked against the invasion, you managed to survive with your force intact. I'm impressed, although you managed to give the British quite the bloody nose right on their very doorstep. Ultimately, it seems that Operation Sea Lion turned out to be a draw. It is clear that our war with Britain is far from over. We must remain vigilant. This will certainly not be the last we see of this enemy. 
But now I must take my leave of you. There will be questions to answer back in Berlin. Very hard questions, but I'm alive to answer them, and that's good enough for me. I salute you, General. Historically, Operation Sea Lion was never attempted. Had it been launched, though, war game tests have predicted that it would have been extremely unlikely to succeed. The strength of the RAF, abundance of Royal Navy warships, and the British resolve to continue to fight no matter the cost, each proved to be an insurmountable obstacle against Germany's Wehrmacht in the autumn of 1940. Alright, so I guess we're back in uh, mainland Europe. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.